Hold up. So it's Vicky and today I'm just gonna do a video on makeup for beginners So if you're a beginner you will probably not want to spend a lot of money on any like dear makeup stores like Mac, Sephora, maybe Inglot or any other dear makeup stores You will probably want to buy makeup at a drugstore So today I'm just going to show you like the makeup you can buy at a drugstore, my favorites. And I'll give you recommendations for any other makeup that you can buy in a drugstore when you're starting off with makeup. So yeah, let's get to the video. So guys, if you're looking for a foundation, this is like my number one of all time. This is the Rimmel London Match Perfection that I always like have used. I have used like, since I was a beginner, I have used the Rimmel London foundations. They were amazing. They have really good foundations and this one just suits up to your skin tone and it's just amazing. <laughs> it gives you great coverage and if you're getting started, this is number one for you. Girls, if you're looking for concealers, there are loads out there. I usually just use concealer and just powder because it gives me coverage and it's summer and I do not want to be piling up foundation and concealer and just powders and ugh. So you can get a concealer like this and then you can apply it either with your fingers or with a concealer brush which is from Sephora as well and it's in the number 20. You can also get cream concealers like this that I have here. One is lighter and one is darker. This is a light one. Yeah, this, this is the lighter one and this is the darker one. You can get cream concealers in like kits. They have different colors and they're just like in kits. This is the one I got recently and it's the Kobo Professional. This was really cheap, so I just needed something cheaper for my for my face because I do tend to run out of concealer really quick. I also have this Match Perfection concealer that I always tend to use. It's like my number favorite, 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 favorite concealers of all time. It's the same like edition or something like that. They're, they're all Match Perfection <laughs> for the powders. This has been my number one powder for like two years. I absolutely love this. This has gave me a lot of coverage and it was just amazing. It was my favorite, but then they don't sell it anymore. It's like, <laughs> my favorite. I bought this Sensique one recently and it's kind of like bad. I, I, I really don't like this. It, it gives me loads of spots after this and it's just, ew, I don't like it. I recommend you getting um, from Room in London. They have really nice powders or, or even from Essence. They have really nice ones. If you want to get started, just start experimenting with the essence ones and maybe then get from the cheaper ones, from the cheaper ones to the dear, dearer ones. My English is going so bad because I'm in Poland and I don't even speak English anymore. And again, so bad. For the contouring, girls, again, just start off with essence. They have like bronzing ones that are nice as well. I, I'm really happy with the Sephora one I got recently. From this one you get the highlighter the bronzer and the blush this is like my favorite one of all time it's amazing it's beautiful the pigments are amazing I'm actually wearing the bronzer from it right now and it's perfect so if you want to get started off with the cheaper ones and get from the dear ones like the one that I have here get this it's amazing mascaras these are my two number one mascaras that i have like got this is the rimmel london scandalized flex mascara in like green color i like green somehow and the brush is really like big and it gives you so much volume i just i just poked my hand why is this not focusing lash accelerator is nice as well the brush is cut the brush is smaller than the other one, it doesn't give you as much volume, but it is pretty as well. The only thing I do not like about this is it makes my eyelashes fall out somehow after I wear it. The other mascaras don't, so I really don't know why that happens. If you're getting mascaras, get them from Maybelline or Rimmel London. They have really nice choices. Essence for mascaras, I do not recommend. Essence has really nice eyeshadows to get started experimenting with. They have some like this, and these are really cheap. This is like broken and it's just, it's just not for me. I'm starting to use MAC. These are pigmented and if you do want to get started off with eyeshadows, this is the thing you should get started off with. Catrice has also really nice pigmented eyeshadows like this. Or you can get ones with, they're like, there's more of them. 
and these are really pigmented like even i'll open this this is like a bell it's like a violent this is like a violet violet and this is highly pigmented and they're lovely and they're cheap <laughs> and this is gonna be really pigmented as well you can see by it that it is really pigmented this is my favorite one by far this is the mac pigments that they have this is just beautiful it gives you such a nice glow that's how beautiful this is girls if you want to get started off with eyebrows either get an eyebrow kit with a cream and get the cream with the, this kind of eyeshadow thingy or just get a eyebrow pencil this is the one i got from sephora it's really beautiful it's like it's so beautiful but i know essence has these like they look identical so you, can, you can get the essence ones brushes if you're getting started i recommend getting these brushes that i got in claire's yes i got brushes in claire's when i was getting started off with makeup they are, they come in like a kit they have leopard print as well these are like light pink i love pink so much if you're also getting started off i recommend getting the pierre Rene brushes this is the blush brush i think and just i just use it for my powder i also have a pierre Rene professional eyeshadow brush which is good as well the brush is really soft and it blends good so it's good if you want to go a bit dearer get the sephora brushes that i have this is the amazing angled brush i love this so much the brush is so soft and it just it's amazing for contouring and highlighting it's mwah, voila I also have a concealer uh, brush in the number 20 from Sephora as well. It's beautiful. It applies concealer the best. If you're looking for a foundation blending in, I recommend getting Real Techniques brushes or their sponge. Magical Com Complex and Sponge, I think that's what this is called. This is like a beauty blender just from Real Techniques. It's good, it blends in good, but the beauty blender is always, always the best and it's just perfect if you're looking for a beauty blender i recommend you getting the real techniques one it's amazing it blends out as well or if you're looking for a blending brush i recommend getting the real techniques one with like the flat flat like flat it's like totally flat so guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up down below comment for any video requests or anything you want to say to me your opinions and subscribe to me to join the yo family because who don't love me everybody loves me subscribe to help me reach my 200 subscribers goal help me reach to the top help me reach to the top yes help me reach to the top i love you guys so much you just make me smile all day make me smile all the time when i film when i film videos i just feel amazing I'm so happy and I'm glad to be making YouTube videos for you. I might be starting a Polish channel in Polish. So if you're Polish and you're watching this, keep in tune for my new Polish channel. Thank you guys for watching. Love you so much. Bye.